just waiting on the dog. Would you like something from the barker? Okay. I mean, it's just like a small horse. Just waiting on you. That's how I drink um, rosé, actually. Okay, are we ready? Let's do this damn deal. Coveting. Well, as you know, I've spent the past, what is it now, four months moving. God, it's a pain in the ass. But I have been gearing up for the most ultimate housewarming party. And as I've had friends come over, you know, they tell me where I should hang art, they tell me where I should arrange my pillows, but I always find them over here by the bar cart. And so I, I had a little thought. I thought, well, if I'm going to throw the ultimate housewarming party, I need to make sure my bar cart is in tip-top shape. I mean, this is where all the people are going to be. They're going to be mixing their cocktails, taking some shots. If the night goes well, I mean, who knows? So, I've decided for this month's Currently Company to share with you September's Boozy Bar Cart Basics. But I, I'm not basic. I'm not basic, but these are basics that the bar cart needs to function and to drink and to have fun. This is not basic. I am not basic. This is not basic, but they're basics. Like, basically, like, basically, this is what you need. So it's September's boozy bar cart. Basically, this is what you need items. <laughs> Number five on this month's currently coveting boozy bar cart basics that aren't so basic is this adorable press for champagne conversation starter. Now, like I said, you know, people are hanging out at the bar cart. This is the place that everyone is going to gather, and this is definitely something that people will be talking about. You know, I have this free wall that I can work with. And if you don't have the luxury of having a shelf that you can put above it, you're gonna need something cool that really just like grabs people's attention. And trust me, people are gonna be pushing this button all night. Where's my champagne? Number four on this month's list is something that if you plan on drinking wine, you are definitely going to need. It's my trusty bottle opener, but this just isn't any bottle opener. I scooped this one up at Anthropology, and the thing I love about this one is it's copper, it's heavy. It's not like just one of those like normal ones. It's like aluminum or silver, and it's like just thrown in your top drawer. I just kind of like to leave it out there because you know what? You never know when you're gonna need to pop a cork or two or twelve. Number three on the list is well, of course glassware. I mean, you have to have something to drink out of, obviously. I mean, we're not going to serve our guests like red solo cups. Here's my tip when it comes to shopping for glassware. Obviously, I mean, I hate to tell you, but I keep just like my really simple, normal, run-of-the-mill glassware in my cabinets. Like, that's what I'm going to use when I'm drinking alone. Not that I do drink alone, but if you are somebody who does, then use that for yourself. But if you are entertaining guests, get something that's a little more fancy. It has a little bit more like ooh la la, like these crystal martini glasses. My mom found these last year at Neiman Marcus Last Call. I've also got some of these fun pineapple shakers where you can shake up your drink and then pour it and then stack it. It's really adorable. I've also loaded up on some good champagne flutes because we're obviously looking for any reason to raise a glass. But the thing that all of these glasses have in common, whether it's the stemless wine glasses or the big goblets, is they're all within the same color family. So they all are clear or they're crystal or they're gold. Even though they're different, they all go together and they add, once again, just a little to your bar cart. And of course, when your guests come over, make them use a damn coaster. Have some respect. Number two on this month's list is this acrylic tray. Now, of course you need a place to put all your mixers, all your liquors, all your limes, all your lemons, all your garnishes. Maybe you're doing some mint and basil. Maybe you're getting crazy, put some straws, maybe an umbrella, somewhere to store all that shit. So keep it simple. This one I actually scooped up at West Elm and you can stick it in the dishwasher at the end of the night. So you're good to go, no cleanup for you. And number one on this month's currently coveting boozy bar cart basics that aren't so basic is another B word, books. Now you guys know how much I 
I do love a coffee table book. It can help add some dimension and kind of height to your tables, but it also does the same thing for your bar cart. But two of my favorites are these leather-bound cocktail books by Graphic Image. One of them includes a bunch of iconic toasts. So if you have a bunch of people in your house that there's a certain celebration that you're raising a glass to, this has got some really legendary toasts that'll wow the crowd. But another favorite of mine is the Gentleman's Guide to Cocktails, which has a bunch of zany recipes that your guests will be sure to love. And so not only are they functional for your bar cart, but they're also something that people can flip through. And once again, another conversation starter because this is where all the people will be hanging out. Well, I hope you loved this month's currently coveting boozy bar cart basics that aren't so basic because we all know every bar cart is the beginning of every good story. Because you know what? No good story ever started with anyone eating a salad or standing in line at a restaurant or sitting on your couch. Every good story of the night at your house will start at the bar cart. Is that what we're gonna call it? No. <laughs> well, I, well, well, <laughs> well, there you have it, kids. That's my favorite song. She's smart, too. She reads while she drinks. Let's get wasted. Just kidding. Number three on this month's My throat's a little dry. <coughs> Somebody go with that. These crystal ball, <laughs> crystal, <laughs> I did a little rubber dance thing just then. Okay. Clean up on the bar card, aisle three.